dad beaten to death in front of his children after a school fight. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AMG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis on the most popular topics in the world today. In today's video, we have some unruly children, a father and his son, attacked until the father is beaten to death. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AMG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. The more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over, similar to yourself, all my normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. A gang of youths beat a father to death in front of his screaming children after his partner's son was in a school fight. Chris Michael Wright, age 43, was confronted outside of his U.S. home by three or four males searching for heartbroken Tracy Karposhenitsky, 14-year-old son. Wright told the group the boy was going to stay inside and not come out to fight. But allegedly, they replied, if he's not going to fight, then you're going to fight. Hmm? That's what we're doing in 2023? Hmm. The mother said he was then brutally attacked by the group outside of their Maryland home. Her three children were all at home at the time of the horrific incident. He was taken to an area hospital and died from a traumatic brain injury on Saturday. The entire altercation was captured on security camera footage. She said just looking at the damage that was done to him, that wasn't just punching that did that. Like there is no way that punching did that. The damage was done before the ambulance even took him away. Wow, they did him dirty. I mean, he had a seizure. It was done. There is nothing that the hospital could do. Wow. Now get this. This is going to break your heart. She also added, My dad and I tried to go onto the camera to look. And the first video that comes up is my 12-year-old son screaming, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy and running out of the house into the street to go help his dad. And I couldn't watch it anymore after that. I just couldn't watch. Wow. Now the school fight allegedly happened at a Brooklyn Park Middle School in Anne Arundel County in Baltimore. A middle school fight. Investigators said three or four men who attacked Wright were in their mid-20s to mid-30s. No charges have been brought up so far, but trust and believe they will be forthcoming. Okay, so, damn. He did my man dirty. So, the little boy, I guess, got into an argument with one of the kids. And something happened. I don't know exactly the details of what the little boy went out and did or why he did it or whatever. Um, but for you to go out there and to have to fight these guys, first of all, they're telling a 14-year-old child to come out and fight. Huh? You got grown-ass men out there. They're going to beat the brakes and kill this little boy. So now they're saying the father got to fight. Four dudes, nah, dog. Listen, I already know y'all. I'm outnumbered. Number one, I ain't coming out to fight. But if I do come out to fight, me and my little friend is gonna handle our business. And you can input whatever my little friend is, whatever your little friend would be. May not be what my little friend is, but trust me, I, I'm, I'm one. It's for them. Ain't no way I'm going out there to fight no four dudes. I ain't that damn tough. Okay, so it's a sad situation because 
All the father was trying to do was defend his child. Not even really his child. It was his girlfriend's child. It wasn't even his son. He stepped up to be a father, you know what I'm saying? Because this kid's father probably wasn't trying to do his job. So he steps in, he does his piece, and now they beat the brakes off this dude. You know what I'm saying? Now, wouldn't surprise me if the kid's father sent, it wouldn't surprise me that the kid's father would have sent them over there because he knew if I send grown men out there and it's for a 14 year old boy, he's not gonna let them go out there. I mean, hey, he might've wanted to get the boy out the picture. I don't put nothing by nobody. See, the reason why I think like this because I know how people do in the streets. You know what I'm saying? People in the streets don't give up about you, okay? <coughs> so, this is a sad situation because now, you know, she found her soulmate. You know what I'm saying? They had a whole family situation going on. And now they're gone. And the first video that pops up on the, you know, the camera, you know what I'm saying, at the home, is the father getting his, you know, what beat. I mean, they were saying, oh, they was punching him. Nah, they was punching him. Probably hit the deck. You know what I'm saying? I'm guessing somebody was stomping him out. Somebody could have had a pole. You know what I'm saying? A stick or something. You know what I'm saying? They probably wanted to get my man out of there. And the reason why they got my man out of there, because I'm telling you, I really, really believe it might have had something to do with the baby's father or something. I don't put nothing by nobody, yo. You can't put nothing by nobody. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I could be dead wrong. And I went all the way to that spot. And it should have just been over this spot. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. If I'm incorrect or I'm wrong, or you feel like I'm incorrect or I'm wrong, leave a comment below. Let me know how you feel about the video. Let me know how you feel about the story. And, you know, what transpired between that man and the other four men. So... You know what I mean? It was just, it's crazy. You just see situations like this, like, you know, people be feeling like they want to be tough and I ain't scared of you, I ain't scared of y'all. I ain't scared of you either, but I ain't stupid either. I ain't going out there to fight these dudes and I ain't got nothing to fight with. No, fam. If I'm coming out the crib, I'm coming out the crib with a nice little, little slugger and I'm taking heads off. Let's believe that because I know you're going to try to take me out. That's why when you get into a fight, it's always going to be somebody getting hurt Somebody going down, and if you ain't about if you ain't about that life, or you ain't trying to go that route, then you don't want that drama. Then you know you gotta do what you gotta do. Now, on the flip point of it, somebody probably watching the video probably saying he could have took the peaceful route and just you know what, let me just call the cops and get them out of there. Guess what? That's not going away. Yeah, you could have called the cops and you know everything would have went away at that particular moment. They ain't do nothing to them. They're gonna tell them to go on. You're going to see him again in the streets. Same thing going to pop up. So at the end of the day, until you solve that situation, or until you get that situation out of your hair, bro, that's going to keep surfacing. And I hate to say it, but you're going to have to take somebody out. you really going to have to take somebody out. Like, yo, fam, you out of here. You know what I mean? You got to go all in. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's a sad situation that it happened to my man like that. But... That's the way of the world these days, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way of the world. People ain't playing fair. All they care about is what they care about. And that's and there's a reason why they sent four dudes over there. Why why would you send four grown ass men for a 14 year old little boy? Why? Why would they come out there? They knew he wasn't gonna send that little boy out there. They knew it. Well then you come out. It was all a ploy. It was all, you know what I'm saying? You can't tell me that it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be careful out here these days. Keep your head on the swivel. And um, just watch yourself, man. Like, people are always trying to pick up some, you know, some steam with these fights. And it's just too much drama going on in the world today. It's just so much drama. It's, America has gotten loose. Like, I feel like I'm in Nicaragua somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You know, no offense. But, you know, you constantly see them on the news fighting, shooting at each other, going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? I understand they may be having a holy war. But... Over here, it's just like, you know, the devil and his angels is loose. I mean, they they buck wild out this joint. You know what I mean? So, it's almost to the point that you just like, man, I just want to go somewhere and just hide. But you can't. You got to stand there and you got to fight. You just got to stand there and fight. Because guess what? You never know when it's your time. But when your time comes, your number get called, you need to handle your business. And do the best you can do. Hope for the best. So... With that being said, if you like what you've heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well. Make more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. 
show love to yourself. All my normal subscribers, thanks for coming back. All my new subscribers, welcome. Welcome to AFG's POV. Do me a favor, hit the like button. And then when you leave this video, oh, well, you know what? Hit the like button. You know, go on, click my, uh, click the notification bell because it'll let you know I'm dropping another video. And then I need you to go and just look into the library and see what I've done. You know, I mean, I've got several videos. I've got hundreds of videos that I've done. Um, so, you know, go check me out. You know what I'm saying? See some different videos. You might see something that might pique your interest or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you want to browse around the store, you know what I mean? You know, that might be need, something that you need to just, hey, you know what? I like this. I like this channel. You know, I like the stories that my man bring. You know what I'm saying? Let me click that like button. Let me click that subscribe button. And let me click that notification bell. That way I know when he drops a video. Now, I know you think this is it, but I do YouTube shorts, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Wow, that's a lot, right? I know. I say it to myself every day. But I do it for you guys because I want to make sure you're entertained and, you know, I try to bring you the best that I can find. So, you know, I'm going to keep doing it because I love every single one of y'all. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Be careful out there, y'all. Peace.